I am deeply loved by God. Hebrews chapter 4 verses 14 to 16 For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who has been tempted in every way just as we are, yet was without sin. This verse has always perplexed me. How could Jesus be tempted like me and not give in to sin? Was he tempted? Yes, severely. Satan himself led him into a wilderness. He was surrounded by people who doubted him, people who had no faith in him. Even after all the miracles, he was hated, despised, and rejected. He worked tirelessly and was taken for granted. He was ridiculed, misunderstood, tortured, and finally killed. It was possible for Jesus not to sin because he was not full of all the lies that we believe about ourselves. Jesus knew who he was. Where does our sin come from? It comes from the way we react when we feel threatened, hurt, or wounded. Even worse, when we feel we will be revealed for the wretched, worthless, no good, piece of garbage we already feel we are, we will sin to keep others from agreeing with us. When did we begin to believe that? Whoever convinced us of such heinous lies? Today, might we begin to see ourselves the way God sees us? Might we begin to unmask the lies we believe about who and what we are? Might we let Jesus tell us the truth about our very essence and the amazing love He has for us? Jesus knows your heartache. He knows your innermost thoughts and feelings. Today, see Jesus filled with compassion and a deep love for you. Sense that He is there for you, that He knows exactly who you are. See yourself through His eyes. Feel the deep wounds and hurts start to heal. Affirm, today I will believe that I am deeply loved by God. Let's pray. Father, help me see myself the way you see me. Help me rid myself of all the lies that have resulted from my interaction with others. Thank you that Jesus understands and will hear my prayers. Amen.